We loved you as Rudy yes, on the Cosby yes. Show. Yes, you are yes, just yes. historic. Yes. You are a part of Black history. Yes, yes. you are. <laughs> um, you openly supported your co-star, Bill Cosby, in his sexual assault trial. Yes. You know what I really want to know? When you went to the trial, mm -hmm. what did he say to you and what did you say to him? You know, I'm trying to remember, but it was just how we always communicate. You know, that's a really stressful, it's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people have conflicted emotions about it. And sexual assault in any way, I'm a woman, I'm an advocate. I have a camp, Camp Kizzy is my nonprofit, yeah. which is all about empowerment and self-esteem for women. But also you have to understand that in our criminal justice system, you're innocent until proven guilty. And this is a man that I've known my entire life, and that was just never my experience with him. So, you know, I was happy to be there and to, you know, see for myself, because ultimately, that's what this country is founded did on. Did he say anything to you, though? Like, did he, what, did he say hi? Of course, yeah. he said hello and, you know, asked about Ella and how I am and, uh -huh. you know, all of those different things. Of course, asked about his family. So he so was... So you just went there just to show your support and just to be there? That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Wow. That's a good yeah. friend. Yeah. That's a good friend. Well, let's get into Celebrity Big Brother. You are actually the first African-American woman to become the head of the household yeah. in the show. Oh, wow. Wow. That's unbelievable. Yeah. But what wait, does holding that title mean to you? It's amazing. I can't believe that almost 19, 20 seasons oh, yeah. later that I'm the first. But I'll take it. Um, it, was, it was a really interesting experience. And what I can say is until you're in there, you can't understand. Like, wow. what you see is it's, it's very different. Um, it is, it's an experience. Wow, When really? you say different, yeah. what do you mean? Yes. <laughs> like, give um, us some secrets. Okay, <laughs> what I can tell you is this. A, there are no windows. And what? Yes, we're in there. There are no windows. Why? You're, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Yes. There needs to be. There like aren't clocks. There's one little clock. You have to do everything yourself. Like, wow. which you probably didn't see unless you're on the live feed. I was in the kitchen with my spices, cooking every day. I had my Keisha's kitchen collection. Actually, when I left, they were like, "But what are we gonna eat?" Oh, <laughs> wait, is that so disorienting though? to like not know what time it is, yeah. what's happening. You have to consciously be like, okay, what day is today? Today is this date, it's this day of the week. How many days have we been here? Yeah. It's like a conscious thing that you have to do. Do you have phones right. in there? No, you have nothing. <gasps> you are completely and nothing. utterly cut off from everything and everyone. No Wi-Fi. Like, no Wi-Fi, oh no, my no music, so that no explains... books, no journals, no nothing. Oh, okay, wow. so that explains why you asked your fellow house guests to vote you off so you can be with your one-year-old daughter, Ella. Let's be clear first. Okay. They put me on the block before okay. any of that happened. Okay. So let's just be clear that I had an alliance. They completely turned. But I had a plan in place. I was breast pump I was pumping milk every yes. day. They yeah. were sending milk to my daughter, who was literally down the street. Um, but just the stress of everything, what I didn't know going in as a new first-time yeah, mom, you stress, your that supply. not only is stress, but your daughter has, or your child has to actually physically eat from your boob too. Oh. You can't just pump because if you pump, your milk supply will diminish. Oh. So what? it just was kind of the perfect storm. My Whoa. milk supply took a nosedive. I was like, hey, listen, it's time for me to go. My baby okay. is my no. most important. Okay. And she's the cutest thing. And she's yeah. so she delightful. Like well, we actually have a clip of your eviction from Celebrity Big Brother. Let's yes. take a look. By a vote of seven to zero, Keisha, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. You guys? Ooh. Wow. wow. There's a tension in there. Yes. Yes. They need to crack Real a window big. up in there. And <laughs> What's up with you and Amarosa? Do you think she'll win? And how did you guys become like friends? You know, I went into it allowing people to show me who they are. That's just who I am as a person. Um, you know, everyone has opinions about them, has a history. So in the house... She was the one person who was the most loyal out of everybody. Really? So, and I had made the decision that as an African American woman and just the, adv the advocacy work that I do, we're not going to be those girls. Okay. Even if not, I'm not going to fight with you. What you do is your karma. How I respond is mine. Oh, so I wasn't. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Who do you think is going to win now? You know, they better watch out for Omarosa because really? I told her, I said, you're an OG in this game. Okay. I was like, you have all of the skill set to win this. And, um, you know, we'll see. Big Brother is a game of twists and turns. You never know what's going to happen. Yep, we're going to um, be watching. We gotta thank see. you for yeah, coming and stopping you. by. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah. Keisha, when she returns to the finale of Celebrity Big Brother.